Hey folks, so next up we have Searching for Opponent against Canomancer, an odd mirror matchup on Quarry. Should be interesting. Uh, looks like it's a bit of a long game. So curious how this plays out. We got Canomancer on the top left, spawning as the gold player, and the bottom right we got Searching for Opponent. Um, we'll be curious to see what the outcome of this match is. Cano going with a power plant in the back, searching all the power plant forward. Into the hand and on, excuse me. Seeing it similar here for Cano. Uh, so both players likely to go 3 ref on this. Searching getting his first ref up here, whereas Cano's going to get his 2 built off the power plant in the back. Of course, having the power plant here lets you offset your refs into interesting positions. Slightly better placement, whereas I suspect Searching's just going to slap down 1 2, uh, even putting it here. And I get the second one here, maybe. Do, 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 do. Uh, we can see more scouting going on for Searching here than Cano. Uh, looks like Kano's getting the edges where his searching is going to prioritize the inner scouting for the circle. We'll be curious to see what the knock on effects of this are. You can see Kano now moving into the middle where his searching scouting is pretty much just done for the moment. Both players building up their airstrips at this point in the game. Got to keep an eye on your harvesters in this backfield with these refs, just because they can bug out a little bit. Just getting some anti scouting going. Searching's vision is still pretty poor. You should have sent extra mini gunners out after those first ones died, or at least scout the corners. You can see compared to Kano, who has full vision in the map, he's going to know exactly what's going on. Uh, looks like Searching is going for the bottom middle field, trying to favor the downward facing refineries that he'll get from that. Not quite sure it's going to work to its advantage, but we'll see. Meanwhile, Kano going for a standard crawl, going towards the middle center, and then out towards the left, I would imagine. Uh, Kano, of course, has a scouted already, so he's going to be aware, if he's looking in the right spots, that this is in fact happening. And he has indeed seen it. Seeing the Fort Ref going down here for searching. Fort Ref going down for Kano around the same time. Kano now expanding out towards the left. Getting the flamers for free. Uh, now up to five refineries. And now at this point, searching is starting to crawl up towards the middle center or potentially over towards the right. Whereas Kano has been quite slow in getting his rest down. Not quite sure what the big delay here is for him. Still hasn't got his fifth ref down, so he's a ref behind at this point in the game. Searching, opting to skip the middle center, and is going straight towards the right. Looks like Kano's got a squad of buggies coming across here. He's going to be coming around and down. He's going to be able to block this ref placement. If he plays his cards right. Pathing here is going to make him lose. Could have lost a buggy or two here. Uh, meanwhile, Kano is catching up with his refineries. He's currently on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, searching currently on 5 as well, but he's just got a second strip down. Kano's still on 1. Kano now having his 5th ref down, 6th ref, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 refs. So 6 refs versus 5, but uh, searching has got the 2 strip. I would expect Kano to get a 2nd strip down pretty soon, probably put it here. Uh, or potentially he'll try to start crawling towards the top middle if he's not feeling too confident in terms of trying to take on this force in the bottom center. Uh, searching is going to hold this for now. I know, got a couple of bikes now mixed in with his army. He's going to do some heavier damage, but attacking into an airstrip like this with a small force isn't going to work. And there's the second strip, finally gone down for Kano. His buggy production now is going to start outnumbering searchings pretty shortly. Uh, he also still has the better eco with six reps compared to searching who's still only on five. There's a six going down now, so equal eco now. 
Uh, you can see in the backlog though, Cano's got the extra 2.5k from having that ref down earlier and also getting the later second strip. He hasn't been building as many units. Uh, but it does look like Cano's calling it quits here and starting to crawl towards the top center field. Uh, meanwhile, Searching's being kind of passive and more defensive here. I'm surprised he's not being a lot more aggressive. He had an opportunity here when he had the two strips to outnumber Cano's army, but now that Cano's got his second strip up, that opportunity's left the building. Cano's going to be easily able to take the top center field. Searching isn't contesting this at all. If I was Searching, I'd take all of these units and just press in here and prevent this expansion. Because, like, there's nothing going on down here. Uh, Cano can also, it seems, comfortably crawl all the way to the bottom left field. He is preventing Searching from crawling down towards here with this iron replacement and this iron replacement. Uh, looks like Searching is continuing his cross. He's now got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven refs. And we're seeing an attack here from Kano on the bottom left. Who's just gotten two refs in the top center field. And so the key difference between the two players at this point of their ego is that Kano has his center refinery here that's been left untouched most of the match whereas searching has opted not to get a center field at the moment turret going down three turrets going down it's going to shred through the boogies here no problem forcing Kano back it's quite nice gonna see the attack force here from Kano coming in oh and the harvester from the middle field after going across the Tiberium always happens with this map it's the biggest pain in the ass and down it goes Oof. uh kano's not going to want to just sit back and take that lightly though he'd want to use these units maybe try attack down here he definitely outnumbers the amount of buggies that are here force him out of position here uh, but we shall see what the players do it looks like kano's starting to expand down towards the bottom left field putting his units back in position here uh, also trying to apply pressure here. Searching going for a communication center. Not quite sure that's uh, the best investment of 1k at this point. It means that Kano is going to have 5 extra... 3? 4? 4 extra units? 4 extra buggies or so on the field? 3 or 4? Uh, searching going in for this ref is kind of a bad decision. He already got the hire from it, so this is redundant at this point. Let's get this higher this ref with the harvester inside of it though that's a big snipe but he's done it at the cost of a lot of units you can see the unit kill count now has definitely swung in Kano's favor uh, but Kano's also gone for a comm center not quite sure again it's kind of a case of the extra vision the comm center provides you can be useful on a map like this and not be not uh, but you are going to be down on the unit count so you got to be cautious with that decision uh, but once you've seen that your opponent's got the comm center it, you're likely matching them uh, eco for eco, so it's not too bad. Uh, you can see here 104 kills to Kano, so he's still got the 20 kill lead. Uh, searching is definitely in a rough position. Both players seem to have stopped expanding, except for Kano, who's taking the bottom left field. Uh, meanwhile, searching just can't get a foothold up here. This place an obelisk is a waste of money. That positioning isn't going to be very useful for the mid to late game. Uh, because if you consider it, he's going to have to get two refs at front of this. Uh, and then it's just going to be sitting back here doing nothing. And those refs will still be prone to sniping. So it's quite an expensive investment to put there. Uh, meanwhile, Kano, curious to see if he's going to potentially put down an obelisk or a couple of turrets here. Searching, going for the top middle field. Trying to exploit Kano's lack of numbers up here. And I think he's going to get at least one of the refs. Potentially two. If he focuses on the units here, he could actually take these all out with this army and then take out the ref. Doesn't need to. He's going to get both of those refineries. The harvesters survive, but he gets the refs. This is pretty big at this point in the game. Kano is going to be not well behind. He's going to have to recrawl all the way back to the top field. It's uh, not looking too good for Kano at this point. Despite having the unit kill lead, losing that is huge. You can see here the two refs are in play, and now this obelisk is being more or less redundant. A couple of turrets are still down here for Kano, actually. Uh, he'll be able to build off these, so it's not all hope lost just yet. This unit, of course, being a glitch. Great replay system, happens sometimes. Uh, searching, pressing here. So he's, he's keeping his bottom field very secure. Uh, and now so he's going to potentially start to crawl towards the middle top. 
which would be a big deal. He sent in a small task force here, not quite sure what he's planning to go for. Forcing the Conair to sell. No, he's just throwing all these units, sending them back here without any target in mind. These are all dead. These are mostly going to be dead. He's going for the Harvester, which is a good choice, but he's going to get just swarmed here. These units could take out the turrets, potentially, prevent the rebuilding of the, uh, the refineries, but if that's going to happen, it's going to be up for debate. I'm not quite sure what Kano was planning down here in the bottom left. He didn't really do much with this little silo crawl, and now he's lost entirely. Kano is throwing this very hard. Uh, a little disappointing to see. We'll see if he can somehow come back. There's still quite a bit left in the game, so you never know. Gonna lose the heart from the bottom left. Ouch. Kano's eco is now way behind. Uh, he has 2.5k in the bank, but once that's spent, it's gonna be rough. And I think searching is now looking to expand towards the middle. Try get a ref there. He'd be better off just redirecting the harvest from these refs to go here rather than build a new ref. It's kind of late game for building a ref. Uh, he already has more refineries than his opponent, so getting extra refs isn't a concern for him at this point. He owns the top right and he owns the bottom center, whereas Kano currently does not have uh, refs in the bottom left and doesn't have any refs in the top center. Uh, looks like he's pushing his units forward, about to get a ref down potentially. Uh, seeing another obelisk go down here for searching, very nice. This is a much better positioned obelisk. Uh, it's a bit far forward from the rest of the structures, but having it in a tight choke point like this in the front as opposed to all the way back here is much more useful. Uh, so yeah, Kano's definitely set himself up here to get a refinery down. Don't know why he's silo crawling. He can build off these turrets, maybe he's forgotten that? Very strange decision from Kano. I mean, getting it closer up here is nice, but you didn't have to silo crawl all the way from back here. And it's like a little engagement here. Searching is hoping to try and take some control of the bottom left corner. Uh, he's getting in, but he's not going to be able to do much. And we're seeing that he's starting to crawl forward. It would be nice to get a hand and nod in here somewhere. We'll be able to better reinforce this. And of course, the obelisk can defend this too. There's the hand and nod going down. Very nice, very nice. There's another forward obelisk going for searching. He's spending a lot on these obelisks. Has he sold one back here? He has sold one back there. Nice. Good decision. Searching has now got full control of the bottom of that field. Kano's totally pushed out of position. And he's getting a ref down. Oh, Kano. Absolutely crazy. Like, Kano's gotten a much higher unit kill count. But the uh, the snipes that Searching has gotten in the thread this game have just been more favorable for him. The obelisks seem to be doing a couple of favors as well. Losing one harv in the middle, but searching's on the counter offensive here. Doesn't really need to worry a huge amount about this. He can't come up here and like take out the strip. There's only this one turret in place. Kano coming in to try reinforce it. Yeah, he's focus firing on this strip. He's gonna get it, or at least he should. And uh, down it goes. Kano's down to one strip at this point. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for Kano to come back from this at all. He already had a huge eco decline uh, from the lack of refineries and all the harvest knives throughout the match. But not being able to keep up his unit production in line with searching is going to cripple him. Both players still have their conyards. Kano's got a nice wall of units here, so this is relatively safe. But without control of the bottom left corner field, it's going to be a big problem. Uh, searching, selling some of his earlier refs, they're no longer useful. Getting a bit of cash up from them. Sending in some buggies here to deal with Kano's forces. Getting some reinforcements in the back, just in case. Kano massing a huge army here in the main base. Might be going for one last hurrah. Be curious where he opts to attack if that is the case. Line of turrets here from Kano doing some work. The units are on the move. Harvesters keep coming back towards these refs, so it would actually be beneficial for Kano to sell them. Uh, similar to what Searching has done moments before. Searching now coming in towards here. Just 
to lose a unit for free. And we're seeing Searching has decided to take his army from the bottom left, come around, take out this last ref on the side, take out the power. And while Kano's forces are just sitting idle here. Kind of opting to move his buggies down towards the turrets. And it looks like he's taking all of his forces. Trying to engage the harvester. Searching being clever, pulling black, doesn't need to unnecessarily throw units. And we're seeing a huge engagement here. More reinforcements coming in through this direction for searching. And searching's broken through here. He's got to be careful with the turrets. They will chew through a few of the uh, buggies in the field here if he's not careful. Uh, searching, sending off a couple of his own turrets. Get some mass uh, mini gunners in the action here. Not a bad choice. Once he's taken this down, it's, uh, it's going to be all over. Kano still with the 100 plus unit kill lead, but it's just not going to be enough. Frozen Harvesters here too, not ideal. It's going to get the refinery here and yeah. At that point he's long distance mining all the way from this being the nearest ref. It's, uh, it's a painful position to be in. Searching now, doing some damage here towards the left. Uh, he's removing his forces here from the bottom left, up towards here, it looks like. He's gonna lose the army straight here, so this is bad engagement. Uh, but Kano, of course, cutting off his reinforcements at the choke point here. Surprised Kano's still playing this out. To be honest, this game is long lost. Even with the advantaged kill count, it's just... He doesn't have any eco on the field. Just a matter of like you can see already on the map that searching has just a better unit count. It's spread across the map a little bit, but if he consolidates it all to one location and pushes, it's GG. Uh, meanwhile, he does not even have to worry about sniping these harvesters. The obby's doing the work for him. And Conyard itself, <laughs> not quite sure. That's the last hurrah for Kano. Uh, Conyard Cell giving you 2.5k. Could maybe sell something, but you're not going to be able to have enough to get through all of these buggies on the field. Mini Gunners against turrets. Good good exchange. Coming up here, sniping the remaining harps that are going for the tip field. Most of the map mined out, except for here. Gets the harv. Oof. That might have been kind of. He's got two harps left, but they're glitched in the top of the map. Searching now, attacking from both directions here. Uh, kind of trading still favorably, to be honest, but it's just not enough. He lost too many key structures, and the obvious of searching definitely, uh, definitely gave him a huge hand in holding these key defensive points. And it looks like it's going to be GG. Kind of sell now. That's well played. Interesting game. Uh, I think searching just. Happened to get the much better snipes. He got the, the bottom positioning way before Kano got the top. I uh, was able to push and contest Kano once he did have the top expansion. And then was able to contest the bottom left expansion and take that. Uh, it was an interesting choice to try and skip the center and then take it later on. It seemed to work in his favor, whereas Kano lost the center F. Uh, the biggest problem with this, though, was the Harv initially going over to the far side and then getting sniped. Which always tends to happen on this map. Uh, it's a pain in the ass. But uh, GG from both players. Well done. Battle control terminated.